Crap! Well, it's uh, cold and snowy here today. I have to wear sunglasses because I get snow blind, but it's pretty snowy here. We're in good old Pennsylvania. Um, we don't quite have a foot or anything, but it's getting there. So we got some stuff to do. First, we got to get some firewood. Uh, that's our firewood right here. <laughs> the tarps blew off of it. We had a windstorm, so uh, I guess I'm digging for wood. Well, I like these GoPros sometimes, but sometimes these cameras are very annoying. I will warn you if you're going to get one. By the way, we're running low on battery, and I couldn't find my charger, so here's our sled. Here's our wood. We got to dig for it. It's in here. We got to do a little Wolverine action here. There's a piece. <laughs> that. And our sled. But you get the point. I'm digging for wood. So I'm going to fill up our wagon, her wheelbarrow. Sled. I'm stupid. It's a sled. We're going to fill it up. Take it in the house. Okay guys, so the wood's in. Uh, camera died, I had to charge it all. It's almost dark now, but camera's charged. So, never mind the wood chip pile for the chickens, but here's Pex. Pex. Sit by the wood stove, but we gotta go out and take some water to the ducks. Well, these tarps keep blowing. It's just a lot of snow. We had heavy wind storms multiple times now. I gotta be careful for these icicles. I mean, those are some decent icicles. Like that right there. There's a good, I don't know if you guys can see all this, but there's a good two inches, three inches of ice on top of that roof. So if we're getting a warm up in a couple days. You can't, you wouldn't believe it, but it's like this right now. And literally in like five days, it's gonna be 46 degrees. Pennsylvania is just weird. So let's get up into our duck coop here. Just have my ducks in here. The two chickens stay in the house. They're spoiled, they're 11 years old almost. What's up guys? I know. So what we got here is the three younger ducks and the female, the only female here, that's Toffee. She's like a year or two years older than the th other three. So first thing we gotta do, take this bowl out. Dump that out. Beat the ice out of it. Ugh. Add a little water in. This will help me break the rest of that ice out. Just like that. Kind of hurts your hands a little bit, but gotta get that ice out slows it down a lot more so this is just their slop bowl they like digging through stuff so they have a sloppy bowl full of stuff they get dry food and then their water ducks are messy so I've been having to give these guys water two times a day because it does freeze ducks are hardy but you got to make sure they're able to stay dry that's the biggest thing with any animal. You know, they can be cold hardy, but you wanna make sure they stay dry. Cause if these guys got wet, 
and then sat in just stagnant freezing air, you know, that could get very cold on them. Even though they're ducks, you gotta be careful. So here's their food can. Give them a scoop. Chickens need some, so take some out for the chickens. Put a little in here. There you go, toffee. And you guys stay warm. Well guys, thanks a lot to this uh, terrible garbage GoPro for deleting two clips. But I just come through and broke down a bunch of these huge icicles. I mean, this, this was just covered in giant icicles. I'll show you real quick here. That's the diameter of those icicles. Crazy. So we gotta walk down here. Um, I don't wanna risk getting the four-wheeler stuck down here. That would suck. So let's check on our feeder real quick. This is just kind of like a winter vlog, you know? Just kind of showing you guys the chaos of snow we get here, PA, out of nowhere. But, see they emptied this. They emptied it. This was full a couple days ago and then refilled to about half yesterday. So, just for my birds, we're gonna, look at the snow. Camera angle's not the best, but it's up to my knees. This is some snow, I tell you. Holy cow. So, I'm gonna walk down to the cabin. Oh man, it's cold. And uh, we're gonna get some bird food. Wow, this snow is no joke. So here's our backyard feeder. I can't even see them down here, but you get a lot more of your birds that really care about hawks. Um, yeah, this is almost out. So we'll give this a nice, good shake, and we'll fill it up. But I can see they've been digging down here in the snow. Here's the traffic shed. And uh, we got some definite snow down here. I'm not gonna walk way in here. I don't wanna get snow on the floor. But it's definitely warmer in here, even though there's a hole in the wall. Um, that's to my bedroll. A mouse got in there. I had to take that out. So. We're gonna go ahead and fill up our seed buckets. Yeah, we have a mouse in here. That's all empty seeds. Um, I'll have to set some mouse traps down in here. And I could, I could smell a skunk. There's definitely a skunk around here. So, we're gonna go fill this close feeder, and then we're gonna put some feed in my other one. Yeah, uh, I was basically talking about, first I went way back there, it was showing how deep the snow was, but uh, I was talking about wild birds, and uh, I already had a junco land on this feeder, so they're already waiting, but I was thinking of starting like a wild bird series or like a bird spotting series something like that or just you know information about local birds just something like that and they actually have at Walmart now it's a it's a birdhouse that connects to Wi-Fi and it has a camera inside and on the outside and it's 1080p so that's pretty good quality so I was thinking about maybe eventually if you know the bird videos did okay I could get something like that and then do updates on different birds, stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna head up before this thing crashes again. It's probably gonna. And uh, I got a big scoop of food for my feeder in my window. 
we don't get a lot of birds up there or variety because the hawks there's no trees no cover down here they have cover so you have a lot more birds but we're gonna take it up now y'all ever just chill in the snow Ugh. oh man that's cold I need my glove on this is cold well the GoPro has officially stopped working I threw it at my wall because it's just not working at all I think it's I think it's broken so we're on my phone and uh, this is the part I really wanted the GoPro for to film I just wanted to take the mule for a drive I don't know how many of you remember this but this mule is when I started my channel since I started my channel, I've had this. Um, so, there goes my neighbor. The Amish don't stop going when it's like this. Those tractors go through anything. But anyways, this is the mule. Uh, some of you may remember it. In my old videos, uh, when I did trapping videos, I had this. So, it's a little rigged right now. So I'll show you how we start it. Okay, so I gotta put my glove on after I start start filming because I can't turn the camera on if I don't have the glove off, if that makes sense. So basically what we got going on here is a lot of snow. So let's wipe that off. There's my mobile truck, two wheel drive manual. But we have a little push button here push this button to start and then right here's our switches so we have kill switch and light switch <laughs> so we put it to run hold this pull the choke hold this button this thing's a beast like this is a kawasaki mule and this thing just has never let me down, not once. Not once has it let me down, or my dad. We got this, I think, 2012, 2012. And uh, I would have been 10 at the time. I took this through everything. This went through so many trapping seasons with dad. Snow blind, that's why I wear these, I get snow blind. Uh, tons of driving on the roads, uh, trapping for miles every day, different lines that were miles long. This thing, I've jumped a hill, jumped it about 10 foot in the air, crashed the thing, was fine afterwards. So this thing has gone through everything and it's still strong. So let's see if the lights are good. Yep. I don't know how good the battery is on this, uh, the battery on the, the mule. Um, so I'm not going to have the lights on just yet. I'm going to keep looking for cars. It's easy to tell when cars are coming. So if one is, I can turn those on. But let's, uh, let's flip the camera around. And uh, we're going to go on up the road and see how it is. So we're going to click it in four-wheel drive. Rev it up. Reverse. Reverse will get it into four four-wheel drive and we're gonna take off and by the way these tires are half flat so it's just a white out there is snow everywhere you can't see nothing so we're gonna go on the road here I am gonna turn the lights on Take these 
off for a minute. The tires need some air. So the lights are not coming on. I don't know what the deal is, but they don't want to come on. We're at the little roundabout here. Holy cow. I can't even see where the road is, honestly. Oh crap. Okay. We're all good. I'm gonna floor it. Oh crap. This road is ice. No one's behind us, so we're good. Oh my gosh, my face is frozen. face after that ride that's cold uh, I would have went a little further but it wasn't getting enough battery power for lights on the road so I don't want the you know I don't want to cause an accident it'd be easy for someone to not see this um, but they, they work right now <laughs> But when I was driving, they would not come on. I don't know what was going on. It's probably just the power is not enough. So now what I got to do is drive in and out of the driveway here to flatten it for my dad when he gets home so we don't get stuck in the driveway. All right, guys. Sorry for the audio and video cuts the whole, the whole time of the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Basically, this clip, I'm just packing down the snow so our driveway's flat. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little vlog. And just want to show you the snow. See you in the next one.